All right. Wanted to make another video here of um, this uh, tomato plant. This is an Arkansas traveler. <clears throat> called an Arkansas traveler. And I am using the crack key method. The crack key method of hydroponics where the plant is suspended over a nutrient solution. The plant is suspended over a nutrient solution. And I'm using one of the five gallon buckets with a lid. And um, the plants are basically uh, suspended in this lid right here uh, in these cups. Just made a, a hole with a hole saw and put a cup in there that would fit just right. Filled that up with uh, perlite, um, versamolite, and gravel. The three of those. And uh, have just the roots suspended. It's doing pretty good. I just wanted to show kind of a progress video. Again, this is Arkansas Traveler. It's just been here uh, a couple weeks. I got them as uh, seedlings. And, uh, but you can see it's got some nice tomatoes coming. Nice tomatoes coming through. And, uh, got some blooms. Just blooming really, really well. It's, uh, definitely seems like it's putting a lot of energy towards, uh, making blooms. <coughs> as opposed to just having a lot of leaves. And uh, these are the roots right here. <coughs> Take a look at them. It's a root system. It's going down into the nutrient solution. You can see I just put holes in those cups and the roots just can go out and then they go all the way down into the nutrient solution. That keeps them sealed. This prevents some this plastic bag is loose here. And um, probably would have preferred to be, you know, white, but I just had these <coughs> trash bags. So I used it as a shaved cover. I know uh, Foggy was saying, "Yeah, if I used white, it would have would have made it that would have made it that much cool, uh, cooler." And that is true. It, it would have if I've used um, white. This does block the light because it's opaque. Um, and I just had trash bags, so I used it. And they're loose, so it does seem to circulate uh, and just prevent that direct direct sun from hitting and it is preventing most of the algae but uh, a white solid color yeah that would have been better that would be better anyway that's just a video of the uh, uh, cracky method cracky method um, hydroponics there's no pumps involved here no um, the water's not circulating, no electricity. Uh, this is water, nutri the nutrient solution is actually just uh, water that I got from uh, an aquarium, a 55 gallon aquarium. And I'm feeding those tilapia uh, and green sunfish pellets, uh, just commercial uh, pellet food. And um, in, in that pellet food, in that commercial pellet food, there's all the vitamins and minerals, magnesium, uh, iron, uh, calcium, all the things that plants need as well. And uh, folic acid, you know, everything in that commercially developed uh, fish pond pellet food. So, getting most from that. And then I've added, because I saw some yellowing and read some things online and so 
I added um, uh, a little bit of iron just from a iron supplement that I got at the store just like a vitamin supplement uh, of iron and I just crushed that into um, dust and poured it down into the uh, pot right here and I just did that with um, uh, potassium as well because I didn't see that in the ingredients on that uh, fish food that commercial uh, pellet food I didn't see potassium so I went ahead and got some potassium I read online that plants like that so uh, I crushed that up crushed up that potassium into a uh, dust and poured it down poured it down into the uh, pots as well and then I changed the uh, water uh, I, it looks like you know I, I did a water test of the nitrate uh, level and which is the main ingredient you know nitrogen and and um, when I put them in here there's definitely a certain degree maybe um, I think I think it's like between 10 and 20 parts per million, something like that, from the those little water tests that you do. And uh, then when I test it after it's been here a couple weeks, it's zero, zero parts per million. So I guess the plants are extracting that from the water, and because it's all organic, maybe they're doing that quicker and converting it and using it quicker and going through it quicker. So. Uh, I'm going out here and replacing these buckets, filling these buckets up again with water from my tank and and uh, swapping them out and uh, refilling these and so I'll probably, looks like I'll probably do that, try to do that once, once a week, once a, a, every two weeks with all these um, that I have. Here's another Arkansas Traveler. Got a tomato coming through on him. These are some jalapenos that we just did yesterday. Uh, these are going to be southern peas. I just put the seeds directly in these net pots and have the water level up so where it's getting moisture. Uh, these are going to be cilantro. It's not the right season for it. It's too hot, but we'll see how it goes. This is um, sweet pepper those uh, green uh, green peppers sweet green peppers or banana peppers rather there's a little guy coming through I already harvested a bunch off here so they're doing it again and then over here we have uh, watermelon and this is a hybrid uh, tomato I didn't want to use the hybrids. I want to stay, you know, kind of organic and non-genetically modified. But this one was in there by mistake. And, of course, it's a hybrid. It's doing real well. I mean, in terms of a plant, it looks, you know, one of the best, or if not the best. So. All right. All right. That's about all for now. Thank you for watching. Uh, post any comments if you have any questions. I'll be glad to explain what I'm doing. If this is something that you like to do, it's organic. Uh, I'm not using electricity out here. Just have these uh, plants in buckets. And I'm going to put shade covers on all of them to prevent algae. And uh, it's organic, not using any chemicals, not using any pesticides or artificial uh, fertilizer and not using any electricity so it's almost like gardening I don't have to be out here every other day watering everything because the water is always there but it, it but I am having to change the buckets of water out so that's kind of a trade-off I am having to replenish these uh, reservoirs and make sure that they have the right nutrient level they need and and uh, so it is a bit of a trade-off all right those are some stands that I made. These are uh, uh, zucchini. These are zucchini. You can see the zucchinis coming through.